Brain Canada's Bell Let's Talk Fund um, and this project allowed us to do something that's pretty remarkable, which is taking basic scientific research from a lab setting to a patient within a very, very short amount of time. There hasn't been any study that's looked at anxiety specifically in a neurophysiological sense using TMS EEG. So we're hoping to be able to not only see differences in the brain at baseline for people who might have the comorbid anxiety disorder with major depressive disorder, um, but we're also trying to see if the treatment changes things in their brain neurophysiologically differently than those who have low anxiety. I'm interested in the synaptic basis of diseases such as depression and dementia. So what we try and do is understand at the synaptic level the connections between the nerve cells where the memories are stored, <clears throat> what are the underlying molecular mechanisms. So I brought into this project the idea that if rather than do a continuous theta burst stimulation, they broke it down into short bursts spaced with intervals of a few minutes, they will get more effective plasticity and then that information or some of that information can then be applied to clinical practice to try and develop better therapies for treating depression and eventually dementia as well. It's nice to, to be able to offer treatments to more people because right now, of course, uh, there's not that many uh, TMS or uh, ECT stations. It's like mostly here at CAMH. And by reducing kind of redundancy, like we can then find more people who would benefit more from the treatment and it kind of feels good to be able to help more people in that way, yeah. I think we've been doing this for about a year and a half, almost two years, and it's only now being brought to this level of working with human participants. Thank you Brain Canada for providing us with the opportunity to advance our scientific knowledge. We hope our study can contribute towards advancing treatments for depression. That translation from basic research to applications in, in clinical populations at that speed, uh, that's amazing, so thank you. Um, Brain Canada for uh, enabling that.